And welcome to Rupp Arena after a thriller between North Carolina and Duke. The Heels survive a four-point win. But North Carolina and Duke playing out the way North Carolina on the French national team and played against each other on the scholastic level when they were in France. Deion Johnson with a nice shot fake. Full of 12 foot mid range shot. A lot of guys missed that shot. A turnover. Jaden Springer lost it. Avion Mint. Let's see how the depth of Tennessee now handles that. And coaches don't need, can't leave guys wide open. Oh. Make, and he beat him once on a neutral in the SEC tournament down in Nashville. So there aren't many guys that can claim that against John Calipari. DJ Ball of 20 from the field in the second half and had 11 second half turnovers. And that was yeah, really turned pretty much solely responsible for a very low scoring two point loss. Overtime win of their own today against Texas. They will take on Kansas. And boy, Dick is Kansas struggling as well. You talk. I like the way he plays. He plays hard. He's fundamentally sound. He defends. So you look at that triple threat position. They teach that player down there at Iona. Played for Pat Kennedy, but he's recruited really by Jimmy Dalvano. Tommy Marco was on that staff, and now works for Rick Pitino and Iona. Rick Barnes told me we want to play a lot quicker than we did. Hi, who knows? He might have stuck around, gotten a ticket, and got inside to watch his balls in a 14-14 tie earlier. Jacob Toppin with Fulkerson on the bench, picking up the two early fouls. Deion Johnson. I, I think it's a little psychologically he's dealing with that. But again, he was a weak kid, a weak classified. But you have to understand, he also as an eighth. January 12th against Alabama. Wow. See that nice stroke? Kentucky only averages 5.2 made threes per game. 308. 20 against Missouri and still lost that game. That was one of the better games shooting the three. In and out for Mintz. Now you can see based on those numbers, anything that Kentucky gets from behind the arc is almost great. Deion Johnson does it again. Too many guys getting right down the lane without being stopped at all. Terrific pace to this game so far, though. End-to-end -end action. Both teams are attacking the basket. And Martin, he's going to be coach of the year in a conference. He's doing a great job with that Missouri team. Foul. Group that their schedule coming up. They got a chance to go on a real run. Lance Ware with a couple of offensive rebounds to keep this possession. West Virginia, Texas Tech should be a very good game. West Virginia had the good win today over Kansas. Pons kicks one out, and Jaden Springer knocks one down. Springer really impresses a lot of people. The last game he had a bad game. It was one for seven against Ole Miss. A block at the rim. Tennessee has made seven consecutive field goals, trying to keep a hot streak alive as they have oh, retaken nice the lead. A shot fake by Springer. He kicks one out to James. Yeah, you talk about losing tough games. Springer. They want that instant gratification and don't realize maybe staying in school is the best thing for them. Springer tries to go end to end. That's an offensive foul. That's a, he's exactly right Kevin's there with that three. Three. To John Calipari and big to Rick Barnes. Before he dragged his pivot foot. Off the curb, Graham in America. I say amen to that. The pressure there, and also on the coaches. There's only a few coaches that can handle that kind of pressure. The scrutiny is unbelievable in every game. You know, Calipari was able, was able to handle it. Patino certainly was able to handle it. How many can? Do they still have a home court advantage? Of course. The fact you shoot in the same building, the fact you don't sleep in the same bed, the fact that you're not traveling. Sorry for the eighth time this season. John Calipari, nearly unbeatable when winning, but that's where it stands now. You know, Bob, one of the big situations, Kentucky getting in the free throw line to go 13th to 5th season in the ACC is a third team all ACC selection for Wake Forest. And here he is again through a triple team, stripped away by Vescovi. 
And here comes Jaden Springer the other way. He gloshed him. He's, he's now been in double figures six of the eight games that he's played since coming back off of the captain. Those Chiefs, you said it's impossible, Mr. Richards. You told me it was I impossible that was against the Saints. You told me it was impossible. He fouled out, scoring nine points against Missouri on Tuesday. He's fouled out three times and had a foul oh, nice. trouble has been something that Calipari has had to man, uh, manage all year with Olivier Sar. Jodak Graffin, he only played three minutes in the first half, but he's got to get going. He had 27 against him, a career high last year against Kentucky. Patel is the bench. Two fouls in the first three minutes of the game. He has picked up a couple of more fouls. They're 18 and 0, the Bulldogs. Forwards, the two seniors you expect to produce. What are they, like one for eight, two points between them? Brooks to his left. And that time, an air ball. Springer will drive it. Saar from the elbow. In and out. Saar really shoots Chance that Chance for Tennessee to really cut this well. down to two, maybe one. The lob inside nice to Eve Pons. Shot. See, Kentucky makes turnovers at the easy that they had in that first half. And early in the second half. Oh, nice fake. A shot fake. Allows the flyby. Can't knock it down as Kentucky has been stuck on 58 since we've had about 12 minutes to go. So about 12 to <coughs> The screen. He, he helps big time. He's got so much information. Oh, nice fake right there. That's Kobe. He's a nice solid put, game here. That puts him in double figures. The flop not bought by the officials, but then Jaden Springer pulled the string and came up short on the eight-footer. Mince to the free throw line. Win, win, and win, and then get ready for the SEC tournament because there's no way in the world at five and eleven I can see them possibly making it. And I, I think what really hurt them too, not playing Texas. If they had won a game playing against Texas, that would have been a big boost for them. Jay Billis had said that at the time, and I couldn't agree more with Jay. I said that at the time. That game loss was a big loss when it was canceled. Now, this is a game you're Kentucky, you've been in command, you've got to close it out. You're at home. Springer muscles his way to the goal. What a nice move by Springer. That type of dandy's got ability. There's no doubt about it. Boy, his dad, Gary, he's got to be proud because he was one heck of a player at Iona. Play for Pat Kennedy. The curl. That time it's not there for Boston. That was a bad shot right there. Bad shot. Right down the left. Great timing. Veteran player. Look at this here. Looks like he's going to get a layup. Mitch says, no, 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 baby. Don't bring it in the lane. Come on, I'm a veteran. Get it out of here, Diaper Dandy. Get it out of here. Big defensive play for Davion Mintz, the grad transfer from Creighton, who has been a very consistent player this year. John Calipari now across the lane. <laughs> Askew lost it. A chance for Tennessee to extend their lead. Over again. This has been Kentucky's problem. Late in games with leads. Look at this. Another one. Another turnover. And not an apple turnover either. Oh, Deion man. Johnson. He goes to the free throw line as Olivier Saar may have just fouled out. So not only a turnover and a takeaway by Johnson at one end. But he attacked Saar, and that might be it. Or check that He's Jacob Toppin. Real well. See what Pardon me, body? Jacob Toppin he with the, the foul. Ball. He protected the ball, laid it on the glass. A terrific play. Eon Brooks pivots, sets up Boston. That comes up short. Eon Johnson the other way. That's too strong. Bad shot. Just a bad shot right there. Mance leaves one for the trailer, but Keon Johnson is there to swipe it away from Brooks. Time. You know, we mentioned they only got 11 turnovers, but they got 10 in the second half. They only won at the half. That's why they played a great first half. We're up 42 34, executed, were efficient defensively as well. As he goes to the basket as well. But at IMG Academy here. Only a short ride from my house. Boston. 
See, here's where I feel a packed house of those Kentucky passionate fans. You know, Tennessee played mostly without Fulkerson, without Viscovi. But they've got... They got like, what do, I don't have the stats in front of me. They got about 45 of their points, do they not? 27 for Johnson, 23 for Springer. Quick math, I think that adds up to 50. 50. How am I doing? 50. Yeah, 50 See what happens when I hang out with a former elementary oh. math teacher? You know, you've taught me some things. <laughs> I'll tell you this, Bob. 50 points out of the 76 <laughs> is incredible. Really a terrific job by the Viper Dennis. Did they rise today? Where were they against Ole Miss? Yeah. Four in Knoxville and one in down in Nashville in the tournament. Johnson splints the oh. double team. Vescovi. Team. To be an outstanding team on the collegiate level, you got to be strong in the perimeter. And they are not strong in the perimeter. There's a turnover right there, sloppy. Bottom line is, great teams have tremendous guard play, and they do not. And they've had great guard play over the years, like